rice is naturally high in arsenic and that can lead to a whole range of health problems from life lifelong exposure cancers through to developmental problems in young children, particularly immune development, growth development and IQ development. So it's really quite serious and what we want to do is try and limit the amount of arsenic that people are exposed to through their diets. As well as characterising the problems of arsenic and rice, we've now moved into a phase where we want to find ways of optimising and removing arsenic from rice and that takes a number of forms. We can look at how you can change rice agriculture, we've been looking at where you can source your rice from, but the most simple and effective way to do it is how you process rice, either by how it's processed once it's harvested or in your own home, i.e. how you cook it. So this is just a relatively standard coffee percolator, so you just have your coffee filter paper lining the funnel and where we put the coffee, in this case we put rice. The advantage of this way of cooking is it means that the rice continuously has hot water applied to it but when the water is applied to it it immediately drains out. In that way that any arsenic that's released from the rice instead of staying with the rice is carried through the filter and into the water collection vessel at the bottom. Basically we have cooked rice here. The, the work is conducted within a global research institute, the Institute of Global Food Security here at Queen's University Belfast. And the remit of these global institutes is really to take the work that we're doing here in Belfast and translate it to help uh, developing countries in particular. The work that I've been doing over the years has led to uh, legislation being brought in throughout the world within Europe, it's led to new food standards for arsenic levels in rice and the World Health Organisation has also put standards down for the levels of arsenic you should have in rice 